Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Luminar to bring your photo in place you don't expect. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Germany. I'm a French photographer from the beautiful city of Paris, France. And I'm making a challenge. 30 days, 30 video. This is video number 10. I can't believe I made it to 10. And this one is going to be really cool. It's on Luminar. I want to show you some photos I took in Yosemite. And, you know, I did a lot of black and white because I love black and white. But I was kind of sad, like, I wanted to get some kind of color effect. And so, I, you know, I just went back and looked at my raw files. And I used Luminar to try different things. Check it out. All right, I wanted to do a quick video on another plugin that I'm using that I like a lot called Luminar from the great guys at MacFun. It's Mac only for now. I, I know it's going to be a Windows version later so if you don't have you know if you don't have windows i'm sorry but stick around to see what's coming uh this is a photo of the tunnel view in yosemite and you know uh this series was mostly black and white but i was like so sad i was like i wish i could do something with color something that would work great so i usually sh you know luminar is an amazing software you can use it without lightroom however i'm a lightroom you know teacher I love Lightroom, so I rather start in Lightroom and do my regular workflow, which is, you know, bring on the highlights, open up the shadows, do my blacks and do my whites, maybe a little bit minus clarity, you know, find a good white balance. On this one, I think maybe a little more blue and a little bit magenta and add a bit of contrast. You know, I'm like, okay, I like the photo. Maybe I'm going to do a bit of gradient on the sky to, but there's not much you can do, you know, and this is when Luminar kicks in when you need inspiration, when you need to go for a look. I'm like, okay, this is an okay photo. You know, let me show you the before and the after, you know, backslash key. But let's go to Luminar. So edit Luminar. So for me, Luminar is sort of that extra touch, that extra little thing that you cannot find Lightroom. Because believe me, Luminar does things that only Photoshop experts or... Uh, yeah, only Photoshop experts can replicate. You can probably do anything in Photoshop, but it would take a lot of time, and it's just a click away in Luminar. And you know, the good thing about presets and plugins like ColorFX Pro or Luminar, they just propose you things. So the way this software works is very similar to OHDR. If you haven't seen the video I did on OHDR, check it out on my channel. It was yesterday or the day before. And you click here, and you basically have preset, but Luminar takes this one more step because you can mix presets or you can mix filters and you can do mask on all of them, which is crazy. Let me show you what I mean. So for example here, I can take, you know, the outdoor presets and usually what I do, and that's been my successful recipe with this plugin is I click here and I look of what the preset does. So that's one preset called abandoned place. I like this one, but I don't like what it does on the sky. I like what it does here on the on the El Capitan and on the Bride's Bride's Veil vale Fall. Uh, but not everything, you know, and I just look at the thumbnail, I'm like, oh, maybe Misty Land. Misty Land, I kind of like Misty Land. Misty Land is the opposite. Oh, I like what Misty Land does to some of the trees, what it does on the clouds. And I'm like, can we miss both? Yes, we can. So usually what I do is I'm going to click here and I'm going to go to basic and I'm just going to take like a basic, you know, image enhancer or, you know, just some basic, basic setting like this, which is already a big difference. Check it out before, after, you know, big difference. Then I'm going to go here and I'm going to do add an adjustment layer and I'm, and I just, I'm going to go here and I'm going to go into outdoor and I'm going to go, for example, onto uh, abandoned places because I like what it did on the, on the rocks. Okay. And then here, I'm going to take that little brush tool. And that's the cool thing. It's so well made. As soon as you brush, everything, the whole effect, the abandoned place comes down to zero, except where you brush. And I just want to bring some of these abandoned places just in the center of the photo so that we can see these beautiful mountains. And you can see the before and the after. And I'm like, oh, yeah, but I love the misty land on the clouds. You know what? No problem. Add a new adjustment layer. Let's go on to Misty Land. And, um, and so Misty Land is going to be applied on the entire photo. I don't want that. I just want a little bit of it on the clouds. And by default, the brush is at 50%. So if I take a big brush, you see, softness is at 100, but opacity is at 50%. So if I brush, I don't bring back all of the Misty Land, but only 50% of it uh, as I'm brushing. So I brushed on the sky, 
and it just made the sky a little more interesting, you know. And I can continue on doing this, like uh, color of the fall. I can go like this, and you know, I can click here, for example, on color of the fall, and uh, it's probably going to make this uh, tree a little dark, you know, a little more brown. Yeah, I like what it does on the tree. So, color of the fall. I'm just gonna same thing. I'm just gonna apply it on some of the tree here in the foreground at 50%. And so now I've I've mixed different things and check out the before and the after. And that was retouched in Lightroom. And that's before and after. Okay, let's cancel that and let me show you another example. I'm gonna go back to Lightroom. I'm gonna take this one. And uh same thing. I'm gonna, you know, put up my shadows, bring down my highlights, I'm gonna do my white, I'm gonna do my black, I'm gonna add some contrast. You know, in this one, I never maybe add some blue. I never publish this photo because I was like, it's kind of a boring photo. So again, I'm going to bring it to Luminar. And I, I just want to see if Luminar is going to bring that extra love, that extra look that's going to make it, oh, yeah, I'm going to publish this on social media. I'm going to put it on Instagram. It's going to go viral. I'm going to be rich or not. <laughs> it doesn't always work. But it's a cool plugin. I just want to show you how flexible it is. And, um, and it's a pretty fast plugin, too. So here I'm lo um, I am loaded this, and same thing here. I think, uh, let's see, so I think um, I'm going to leave the basic here, and I'm going to add right away a, an adjustment layer, and maybe I'm going to go to Misty Land, because I think Misty Land is going to do great for the, for the water. Too strong, so I'm going to take a little brush, and I'm just going to brush over the water. I just want the effect on the water in the foreground. But it really brings, you know, maybe here on the waterfall and this. Check it out. Before, after. And if you think it's too strong, uh, every layer has got a little opacity here. So I'm going to make this a little less visible. And I like that. So, But now I'm looking for something else. I want to make it stronger. So I'll add adjustment layer. And I'm going to go into another set of settings. Let's go for dramatic, for example. Dramatic. Uh, let's see what... So I click here, it's going to give an overall look, and I'm like, okay, do I want any of that look on anywhere on the photo? For example, dramatic look, uh, maybe on the rocks. Yeah, on the rocks is going to be great. So up, I just start brushing because I created a new adjustment layer, and I love what it does on the rocks there, you know, and maybe here. And, you know, if it's too strong again, I can lower the opacity to make it more natural. Okay, and I'm ready for a new adjustment layer, you know. Adjustment layer, new adjustment layer. Okay. And you don't have to just use presets. I can go here and now use a filter instead. So I can go here on this layer and add a filter. And you see, can see here, there is a whole bunch of filter and you can see what they do. So you can add other a layer with preset or just a filter. So I'm looking something that's going to give like a fog, foliage and answer. Yeah, foliage and answer I think is going to be good. So I'm going to boost the foliage and you see it does it everywhere and like on the water and let's see the U. So it changes the green. Okay. I think I'm going to go something like more like this or like this. I'm just looking for the amount is maybe a bit much and you just find a color that you kind of like. And then again, you can take a little brush and you can just brush and now that filter same idea and preset is only going to be applied with the mask and I just want to bring back a little bit of color here on the filter and voila and check it out so that's before after kind of subtle but look at the water look at how the you know it just makes that photo just a little bit better okay let's cancel that actually let me apply this and let's go to Lightroom and let's take this one another photo from Yosemite I'm going to erase some of the sensor dust which are really big there it was raining when I changed my lens I think I got some like water drops on my sensor it was, you know, sometimes shooting in the wild. It's not always easy, especially when you shift lens. Okay, so I'm going to open up the shadows, bring down the highlights, do my white and black, you know, my usual stuff. And, you know, maybe do a little graded filter because I really want to bring that fog and sky down here. Okay, but not so much on El Capitan. So I can take a little brush and I can refine with the brush here. I can refine this by holding the option key, making the, this a little, you know, smaller and putting auto mask on flow at 50 percent so i'm just going to erase the, the effect that i did here on el capitan i don't want el capitan to be so dark that's good 
you know, and I'm going to add a bit of contrast. And I, I like I like the photo, but, you know, can Luminar bring something to the table on this photo? Can it bring it that extra thing where I'm going to go, yeah, wow, you know? So, as Clint Eastwood used to say, I guess there's only one way to find out, isn't there? So, I'm going to go into Luminar. And, you know, it's like going into Photoshop and trying, like, all kind of curve and filters and combination of curve takes forever. With Luminar, it's so fast. It's really one of these tools you got to have with you. Uh, you can find the link to purchase it below this video. And uh, But it's Mac only. Don't dislike this video because it's Mac only. I am not a software engineer at MacFun. They are going to come up. With, they heard you. A lot of people from Windows have been complaining. It's coming out for Windows uh, very soon. So... I'm going to leave the basic layer. You see, it doesn't do anything for now. That's just my retouch. I'm going to add an adjustment layer because I only want to do local stuff. And I'm going to add, for example, you know, copper strong. Why not copper strong? Mm, I like that. Or let's go again for that dramatic look uh, that we like so much. Ooh, I think the dramatic look looks really great for El Capitan. So again, I'm going to take a little brush and I'm going to brush that just on El Capitan. You know, I don't want this look everywhere. Just just there you know check it out before after I'm just bringing you know attention to El Capitan then a new adjustment layer and this time I think I'm gonna go to copper strong because uh, I like the look that it gave me all right but uh, yeah mainly on the yeah I actually like the, the, the looks it gives you and it combines with what I did here you see it uh, that this is still active Okay, and that just goes on top of it. I'm going to leave the copper look all over. I think it's kind of cool. Um, and I'm going to go again and add a new adjustment and just play around with this, you know, and I'm going to go for dramatic grungy maybe and um, and add a bit of dramatic grungy maybe, you know, I don't know. Like here, it makes the fog more visible. Maybe a little bit again on El Capitan here. Maybe a little bit here on the pass, you know, a little bit of drama, but, you know, not too much before and after. And if you don't like something, you know, you can just right click and delete layer and try something else, you know. Uh, let's see, let's go to another pack here. Let's look at e Enigmatic Vision. I never tried this one. Enigmatic Vision. Uh, oh, actually, let me undo that because I want to do this on its own layer. So command Z to undo. I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. I don't want to change the copper one that I did. And I'm going to take the enigmatic vision. I'm sorry. Uh, and let's see what it's giving me. Yeah, I like that. I like that on the fog. So I'm going to adjust that a little bit here to bring back some of the fog. Okay. And now I'm going to go here again, add a new adjustment layer. And this time I think I don't want to add a preset. I just want to add a filter. So... Um, I'm going to go here and I'm going to add fog, for example, as a filter. And I'm going to add a lot of fog. It's going to add fog everywhere. I don't, I don't want that. I'm just going to take a brush and uh, make sure the brush is pretty big. Opacity at 50%. I'm just going to bring back fog here in the middle, in the center of the photo. Just there, because where the fog was. Okay, before, after the fog, maybe a little bit of fog here and a bit of fog there and fog there. You know, so it looks more natural. Maybe I can lower the opacity so it blends in better. And voila, and so I've taken this photo, and I could do this for hours. I just play around with presets, but you get the idea. That's the before, and that's the after. I'm going to apply this and save it. You get the link uh, to get the best price under this video. Check it out, and uh, you can maybe add this to your tool. All right, guys, I hope you like this video. If you do, please take a second to like the video and leave me a comment. Tell me what you would like to learn from me. It inspires me to do one of these videos. You know, I have to make another 20 videos in 20 days of the 30 day challenge. So I read most of your comments, if not all your comments, and it inspires me to teach you other stuff. Uh, also, if you did not subscribe to my YouTube channel, please take a second, just click on the subscribe button so you get a notification every time I come out with a free video. And the one thing that I promote in every video is the Hollywoodans. The Hollywoodans is my life dream. I'm an actor in a Hollywood movie with 30 other actors, some amazing actors. Ken David Chon that you might have seen in Borat, Jessica Morris who's been in dozens of Hollywood movies, Rebecca Holden who was in General Hospital and in Knight Rider, and Harry Williams, which is an upcoming comedian 
really funny. We did a movie together called The Hollywood Hooks. It's a story about a French guy trying to make it in Hollywood. You will find the link of the movie below this video. If you can take a moment and pre-order the movie, you will get it on the 16th of May. It will make a really difference, especially if you pre-order it now instead of 16th of May. If you can take a second to do that, I uh, thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. And last but not least, my Photoshop for Photographer 2017 is out. It's my best Photoshop course ever. I'm getting lots of really cool reviews on it. Over 60 videos, 21 different projects, very small videos. You know, I'm trying, I'm going straight to the point. If you ever wanted to learn Photoshop, this is the video you're looking for. Mesdames et messieurs, see you tomorrow.